Let's quickly do a Viva Riva, which is interesting, <coughs> which is set on the streets of Kinshasa. And remember when Brenda Balili came out? I and mean, in fact, we were in this very studio. Is Mufasa to... from Kinshasa? <laughs> I don't think is that not right. It's not <laughs> should have been. Should have been. Um, I am a fussy. So, so just so. don't. Okay. So this is a completely different beast of Brenda Bleedy. Although there is some music on the soundtrack that obviously at one point I thought well, is that actually Star Brenda Bleedy playing? And if you haven't seen Star Brenda Bleedy play, you must do. They are really fantastic. So this kind of does for the streets of Kinshasa what City of God did for the streets of Rio. In the, and it was a very big domestic hit. It's a sort of sleazy action thriller. Um, that draws inspiration to some extent from the black exploitation uh, genre. It's, it is very much an exploitation movie. There's a guy, Reaver, turns up in town. He's got a whole bunch of uh, oil, petrol, gas that he has uh, lifted from the. Uh from, from the Angolans. There's some gangsters who are after him. He then has a thing with uh, a woman who is attached to a local gangster, so everyone's after him. It's all, everything's closing in. And meanwhile, the cameras are running around doing the sort of thing they always do in exploitation movies, which is that every five minutes there's a scene in a strip club. There's, uh, there's a very sort of tough commando woman who turns out to be a lesbian. There's somebody else who's connected with this guy who's got stashes and stashes of stuff and, you know, and, uh, and fl fast cars. So it's one of those interesting things in which, you know, R Roger Corman always said that thing about the best way to to uh, encourage a new generation of filmmakers is to create an exploitation film industry. In fact, David Putnam agreed with this. Get an exploitation film industry, take people who want to be the next Antonioni and get them to make Secret Lies too. Well, in the case of this, it is clearly a full-on exploitation movie. It's done very well in its domestic territory. There are things about it that are interesting. I mean, it's not it's not world-changing in any way. I mean, it didn't it didn't set me on fire in the same way that Brenda Bellili did, but it is a good, solid, sleazy you know, trashy but flashily done exploitation gangster movie with all the tropes of black exploitation cinema, all the tropes of that you expect from that kind of movie. You know, people acting in bizarre ways with violence, gratuitous nudity, ridiculous plot tie-ups, and you know, and it satisfies on that level.